Jim from Otten's Eatery is in the kitchen and he has some super simple ideas. His restaurant, a lunch and dinner, um, everything made from scratch, amazing soups and sandwiches, and now you, you're serving wine as well. Good yes. to see you, Jim. It's nice to be here. Thanks for having us. You bet. Family affair in Green Bay, um, and you're in there. Your, your daughter's a, a scratch baker, so you make yes. all the buns for the hamburgers and the sandwiches Correct. and all that kind of stuff. So. Correct everything from scratch. I'm excited about this because it's been a really long winter and I yes. think uh, all of us are craving all things summer or spring. Yes. So potato salad, when's the last time you had potato salad, homemade potato salad? And this one is a hearty one. Great for winter, great for summer too. But I'm looking at the ingredients and the first thing I thought of, Jim, was loaded baked potato. It's exactly, it's mm. exactly what it tastes like. Um, obviously it's a stolen recipe. I I don't remember where I got it from, but it's it tastes exactly like a loaded baked potato. The mm. hardest part of, of the recipe is actually just cutting up the potatoes. Mm -hmm. No so. no recipe stolen. They're all just borrowed, Jim. Yes. So, okay, so we're, we're starting out with some baby reds. Correct. And we're going to roast them in the oven. So don't think boiling these potatoes. We're going to give them some great flavor. No, what we're going to do is we're just going to take them and we're going to put them on a sheet pan. Okay. We're going to cut them up into bite-sized pieces. Okay, like think potato salad that would yes. get onto a fork. I mean, because you want to be able to obviously get them into your mouth but this this is one of those recipes that my kids uh, absolutely love they'll a, they'll actually fight over this potato salad well you know they it's a good one yeah they don't like uh, regular baked potatoes stuff. yeah oh. but they'll but they'll eat this okay so uh, and it's and it's very very simple uh, is, do, do you serve this at the restaurant at all yes we do we actually serve this uh, with our tenderloin that's uh, topped with uh, shrimp etouffee mm. so this is a part of uh, our everyday menu. So this is always there, but one thing that we've learned is that when we cater, uh, we actually use this and substitute this in rather than doing uh, french fries. Okay. So, or, um, you know, you could always purchase chips, but I'm not big on buying. Right. You know, things we like to do everything from scratch, so we'll put this in, and it's actually gone over very well for us. Oh, I, I, there's nothing not to love. Now, you like this warm. The kiddos like this cold. Either Correct. way, it's kind of the what you think about it. So if you're doing it with a steak, I would probably do it with something, you know, keep it warm. Correct. But if you're doing it with a sandwich, the leftovers, you know, do it with sandwich or brats or whatever, you can do a cold. Either way, it's going to work. Yes. So, so it, spread those out. Spread them sheet. out. A olive little bit oil. of olive oil. Salt and pepper. And then just a little bit of salt. Oven temperature? Uh, about 375. We work at four and a quarter at the restaurant, but 375 until they're fork tender. Okay. And then we have them out here. And so you want to get a little color on them. You want them to be a little bit brown like this. Yes. So once, once they're done and they're fork tender, uh, you can actually uh, take them and put them back into your bowl. Um, you toss those basically the olive oil in that bowl. Correct. Okay. If you don't have that color on them, they're not done yet. So get them back in that oven, maybe turn on the heat. You want that little bit of brown like roasted, sure. roasted potatoes. Then what you do, uh, take your favorite uh, sour cream. Okay. Just take that and mix that in. The whole container. The whole we container. Okay. That's why I said it's, you don't have to do a lot of uh, measurement for this recipe. Um, just take that and just get that all over the potatoes. And the potatoes are already warm, so they're already kind of, it's Correct. kind of melting right in there already. If you want to stir that in, I'll go ahead and- You bet. And I've never met a potato that didn't like sour cream and, and green exactly. onions and- Exactly. So then I always use a couple of bunches of, of green onions just because I like a lot of green onion. Salt and pepper in this a little bit? Um, it's to taste. It's to taste, so we'll just do a little bit. I was thinking, Jim, if you're doing roasted potatoes, I always am thinking, okay, if I'm doing roasted potatoes with like a chicken, maybe do some extra, turn the leftovers into this, and it's perfect. Yes, the uh, uh, the wrap that we're getting ready to do, um, we actually had some, some extra product, and we were playing around with it, and that's how we came up with... Uh, with this particular wrap. That's like the best recipes are kind of yes. invented that way. So quite a bit of the scallions though, they all yes. go in there, so. Everything goes in. Okay. Okay, if you want to give that mm -hmm. a quick stir. Mm -hmm. And because the, the potatoes are a little warm, you can, it's really just the sour creams really kind of gets in there. So you, do you suggest doing this when the potatoes are slightly warm? Um, 
It depends on how you're going to serve it. Okay. If you, you know, if you're planning on serving it cold, then you can wait for the potatoes to cool off. Okay. And get a little bit more room temperature. Okay. Um, it's just a, it's just. Doesn't it's, matter, huh? It doesn't make any difference. It's all personal preference from here. And even with the bacon, um, you know, the, the recipe calls for a package of bacon. Pound full, of bacon, a okay. Full package. Uh, if you don't like that much bacon, then cut it back. Or if you've got some left over from breakfast, just oh, use man. what you got. Yeah, just, you know, just make sure it's fairly crisp. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go ahead and get that in there. Oh. And one more ingredient. And then the last ingredient is Wisconsin cheddar cheese. Oh boy. Yeah, this looks so good, Jim. I can't even tell you. Have you ever baked this and just served it, you know, do you ever heat it up that way? No, actually what we do uh, as we're going through our prep at the, at the restaurant, we have someone that orders the dish that we use this in. We'll take it and actually put it on the plate and put it up under our warmer. So just to warm be, it, okay. It'll, it'll loosen up just a little bit that okay, way. Okay, okay. Or just maybe pop it in the oven for just yeah. a little bit. You don't, it doesn't need to be bubbling hot, no, just a little no, bit warm. just enough to take the edge off of it if you're going to serve it warm. Oh, I can't let all that bacon go to waste. i got to get every little last bit in there. Jim, this looks fantastic. Oh, Great. my goodness gracious. I don't have anything but good stuff to say about this. And uh, always on the menu at Otten's? It's always there. So even if you're not getting the steak, could you order a little side of that? Yeah, if you'll come in, we always have it. Okay. We always have it ready. So, you know, if you come in and, you know, you go, hey, I really don't want the uh, french fries, we'll throw this on the plate for you. Ask, that's what they're all about, family friendly in service. Where are you? Where can people find you? The easiest way, if you're familiar with Green Bay, uh, the easiest place to find us, uh, we're on West Mason Street behind where the old Baskin Robbins used mm -hmm. to be. Uh, if, you're, if you've been around Green Bay that long. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're heading east on Mason Street towards the hospitals, if you cross the bridge, you've gone too far. Okay, so, Otten's Eatery, give them a yes. call. Lunch and dinner, family affair, uh, your hours, how can we? We're open from 11 until people quit coming. <laughs> so, uh, you know, right now that's typically been between, you know, somewhere between eight and nine. Okay. But we'll stay there as long as we have people walking through the door. Oh, so. that, that's awesome. That's what they're all about. So um, you mentioned a wrap sandwich. Uh, we're making that next time? Yes. That's it. That'll be the next segment. It's called the Awkward. Um, it's got chicken in it, provolone cheese, lettuce, tomato, some avocado, some ranch oh. dressing. Oh, oh so you're killing it's, me. It's really nice. Sounds delicious. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. <laughs>